South Africa's biggest art exhibition has attracted art lovers and creative masterminds from all over the continent. Organizers say the Art Joburg Fair has fronted change in the continent's art space by elevating the work of black artists since its inception a decade and a half ago. CGTN's Julie Shire reports. Organizers of Africa's premier art fair added a little twist to this year's exhibition. Art Joburg takes place annually in the plush suburb of Santon, just 10 kilometers from Johannesburg's decaying inner city. The CBD has lost its luster among the country's growing middle class, which the fair is trying to overturn. We launched by going to the city itself, the inner CBD, where people were feeling that it's dilapidated, it's falling apart. And we've gone back and we did the FNB Art Prize winner at Joburg Art Gallery. And then the following week, we launched uh, the BMW Art Generation, which is an inter dialogue between two generations of curators and artists in uh, one room in Maboneng. The art showcase has been a catalyst for change since the first showing 16 years ago. It lends itself as a voice for black artists suppressed during South Africa's dark past. We've, you know, really come a long way in building the contemporary art scene. Um, obviously, the fair itself is a marketplace for people to uh, buy art uh, and support artists. And it's also a place where people gather. Once a year, people look forward to coming to the fair to connect. One of the country's first black-owned galleries, Momo, represents several African and international artists and has been part of Art Joburg's 16-year journey. This fair has been very, very, very important in shaping the art ecosystem in South Africa and throughout the continent. It literally opened up uh, South African artists to the rest of the world. We see a, we've seen a lot of change, a lot of more diversity, inclusivity in terms of like the artists that are showing their works here, the galleries that are showing in the space. The unearthing of new talent adds new dimension to the country's political and social commentary. It's almost like living either your ancestors' dreams or like what the older um, artists couldn't do for themselves. And now all of a sudden we're holding space for ourselves. And I think with me as well, that's what is important to just like hold as many artists of color and put them through to the next part of their life. I think our voices are important um, in the sense of like experience but also in terms of just like pure reflection. Johannesburg has long been South Africa's cultural heartland. It embodies the resilience and the vibrant energy of the entire continent which the art fair has come to effectively showcase to the rest of the world. Julie Shara, CGTN, South Africa.